drive by this quintessential Door County farm and you'll discover goats under the willow tree. Look a little closer and you'll see Lynn Grassy in the middle of her treasured Nigerian dwarf goats. I think when people stop along the road, you see them peacefully grazing. I think they just kind of look like they're a, a walking flower garden. This garden is also known as Grassy Acres near Ellison Bay. Okay, these are my little buds. They'll follow me everywhere I go. Lynn traded in her work with kids in the classroom for a different kind of kids in the barnyard. I did teach kindergarten for 19 years, but instead of continuing on in that field, I decided to just do this. This has become her passion. I started with this in about 1997, actually, with my three sons. So we got a couple of goats, and I thought, well, that's a good idea. It'll help them to learn to be responsible and respect living things. But as time went on, it was very clear that I was the one that had the passion for them. <laughs> People will say, why goats? Why do you want goats? Hear old stories, and they think of them as being dirty and stinky, but the bucks are, are what give goats a bad name because they are stinky, but they're just as sweet and loving as the girls are. Usually at the end of the day, my hair is all chewed up and gnarled and I got little hoof prints all over my clothes. <laughs> Don, my husband, is wonderful at making sure that they're fed and he grows most of their feed that they eat and the hay with him enjoying the growing aspects and with me enjoying the animal aspect of the farm, I think we make a pretty good team. And as a team, they care for and nurture their dairy herd. Now we're good. All right. Let the milk flow. They have a high butterfat content, so their milk is very sweet and rich. The goat's milk is used to sustain a more natural, healthy way of life on the farm. There it is. Time to eat. Hey, I need time. It's all good, and the baby goats get to enjoy it at feeding time. And a few too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another one too many. Come here. Everybody's hungry. Everybody's starving. So this is a 10-kid feeding bucket so I can feed 10 of the babies at once. When I first started with the kids, I had to do individual bottles. It was hours of work, and now I'm done in minutes. That's the way it works. And the babies are happier too because they get to eat faster. It is a feeding frenzy. It's just... <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at the milk mustache. And the Nigerian dwarf goats are getting Lynn noticed. She's now breeding the goats and sending them coast to coast. Kidding season can happen at any time, day or night. One of the things I had installed was a barn camera. There she is. No babies yet. As soon as they're ready, I'm out there catching babies. Her biggest batch of babies found a new home just south of the Wisconsin border at the Brookfield Zoo outside Chicago. First of all, we're looking for a really high quality herd that we found up in Wisconsin. And this is the name that kept coming up, was Lynn Grassy up in Door County. Here we are with 30 kids, and most of them were born in March and April. This was definitely a, a spring with a purpose. <laughs> it's their gentle nature and curiosity that make these dwarf goats a good addition to the petting zoo. She does an outstanding job. She's a very ethical goat herder. You're such a pretty girl, aren't you? Are you such a pretty girl? Yes. They are such a wonderful, peaceful, calming part of my life. They really fulfill something in me, a need to nurture. And when I look out over the pasture and I see them out grazing, it just makes you feel like, yeah, this is where I want to be. Come on, 